In this equation, we have carbon plus nitric acid, C plus HNO3, and the carbon's probably going to be in the form of graphite. This is a bit of a tough equation to balance, primarily because we have all these different oxygens here with the different compounds. That can make it quite hard, but let's see what we can do. Let's count everything up. We have one carbon, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygens. On the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, one nitrogen, and then oxygens, two plus two is four plus one, five oxygen atoms. Let's start by balancing the hydrogens, maybe that'll fix the oxygen. We could put a two in front of the HNO3, one times two, that gives us two hydrogens, those are balanced. One times two for the nitrogen, that gives us two nitrogens, and then three times two, that gives us six oxygens. Might as well try to balance the nitrogens, see what happens there. Put a two as our coefficient, one times two, that equals two, those are balanced. Now let's recalculate our oxygens. We have two plus two times two is four. So two plus four is six plus one, seven oxygen atoms. So close, but we need to be exact. So I think what I'll do is, I know that this has to be a bigger number. So I'm gonna to have to change this to, I'll double it. That'll keep it an even number. I'd like to do that. Let's try it. So I'll make this a four and then I'll update this information. 1 times 4 for the hydrogen, that gives me 4 hydrogens. 1 times 4 for the nitrogen, I have 4 of those. 3 times 4, that'll give me 12 oxygens. Okay, well, let's update the hydrogen first by putting a 2 here. 2 times 2, that equals 4. And now for our oxygens, we have 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2, that gives us 8. Let's update the nitrogens. So we need to have four nitrogens, so this is gonna to have to change to a four. So four nitrogens, so one times four for the nitrogens, that gives us four, those are balanced. And let's count the oxygens up one last time, hopefully. Two plus two times four is eight, plus one times two is two, 10, 12, that's it. This equation is balanced. So you can see it's really a process of trial and error to get the correct balanced equation for this one. And this is a little tough. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C plus HNO3, graphite plus nitric acid. Thanks for watching.